Hello, confirmation candidates. It's Brinky here. Today would have been our 12th meeting, our 12th Spirit Day. And unfortunately, we will not be able to get together, but I did want to leave you with some words of wisdom before you begin your lesson. Located in your email that your parents received is a listing of which videos to watch as well as which questions to answer with your sponsor or your parent. Uh, but just a few words of wisdom before you go off to finish the lesson. First of all, it's really important to remember that confirmation is in fact not an end and it is not even a graduation. Many people believe that once you're confirmed, that's it. You don't have to learn anything else about the church or anything else about your faith. And I'm sure every adult in your life can tell you that this by far is not an end of your faith journey. In fact, in many ways, it's just the beginning. And the beginning of your faith journey really as an adult in the church. Uh, next time, we will discuss a little bit about some of the opportunities you will have now in the parish because you will be confirmed. Maybe you want to be a lector or be a Eucharistic minister or be a door greeter. All those things will be available to you once you are confirmed. So it is a wonderful step in your journey um, of faith, but it's definitely not a graduation and definitely not the end. The videos you will be watching today, one video is on 10 great reasons to be Catholic. Probably my favorite re reason, oh, I cannot speak today. Probably my favorite reason uh, Matthew Kelly gives is that it is a universal church, meaning it's the same everywhere. So if I go to mass today, if I were in another country, which obviously that would not happen, but if I were in another country and if the mass was in a completely different language, I would still have a sense of what was going on because mass is still the same wherever you go. In fact, the readings are still the same wherever you go. What's wonderful about what is happening with this pandemic, and there aren't very many wonderful things, but there are some wonderful things, is that people really have a sense of the universality of the Catholic Church. So for example, there are wonderful, wonderful opportunities for you to watch mass coming from the cathedral in New York City or from our own cathedral downtown or from across the world if you wanted to see a mass from across the world. And it's all the same mass. It's all the same readings. We're all still in Lent heading up to Palm Sunday and Easter. So it really is something that we are seeing more and more during this pandemic of how universal the Catholic Church really is and how connected we really are. So maybe you take the opportunity instead of streaming Mass from St. John Newman, even though we do love Mass from St. John Newman, to maybe stream Mass from another place or another church, even around uh, the city or the archdiocese or even from another part of the United States. The last video you will watch today is a video called On This Day. It will actually review what you will say to the Archbishop and what the Archbishop will say to you on the day of your confirmation when you are presented by your sponsor. So pay particular close attention to what you will say. Now, when we have our practice, we will go through these phrases, but you can also review them on page 259 and 260 of your Decision Point textbook. So until next time, which as I said, we'll be discussing about what happens now once confirmation is over. Are you going to participate in the life of the parish by volunteering, maybe as a lector, as I said, or Eucharistic minister, a door greeter? There's just so many wonderful things that you can be a part of. And also, what does it mean to be holy beyond the sacrament of confirmation? Until next time, have a wonderful and blessed week. We are praying for you and for all of your families. Stay safe and stay healthy. Bye now.